guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today, we're putting some trick or treat bags together. So, in our neighborhood, we have some kids that have allergies, and this year I wanted to make some allergy friendly bags. So, come along with me as I share with you guys what I put in my bag, how I put it all together, and I make it extra special for the kids who don't want candy or the kids who can't have the candy. So, Let's get ready for Halloween. All right, so <laughs> Muffin. <laughs> Do you want to say hi to the camera? Hmm? You can't be on the table, you know this. I don't think she cares. Anyhow, so I, like I have said in my intro, we have a handful of kids in the neighborhood who either don't like candy or are allergy friendly so I got a bunch of things to put together for a little treat bag for them so I found these on Amazon they were like um I want to say like between eight I think they were sixteen dollars because there's two of them but they are eight inch glow sticks and there's a hundred of them so I was able to get two hundred so we're going to do that And then I got these, how cute are these treat bags? I'm going to put everything in the treat bags just so that way then I can just pick it and hand it out. But everything that I got is essentially allergy friendly. I got bubble wands. I got like, they're like the little um, squishy slime stickers. And then I also got little stampers. Um, I don't think they're for hands, they're more for paper. So each kid who either doesn't want candy or has an allergy need will get a bag with one of all of these. So let's create the bags and let's see how they all look and turn out. got all 50 of them done and basically every single kid will get one of these bags we also have candy for the kids that want candy and can have candy um i have to say i love doing this and you know all of this i got at the target uh halloween section and i wanted just to share with you guys all the prices and everything so i double checked and the Amazon glow sticks were $16 for 200. Uh, the treat bags, they were in a 12 count pack and they were a dollar each. The squishies were $3 each for a 12 pack. The stampers, there was 16 in a pack and they were $3. And then the bubbles, there was eight in a pack and they were $1. So basically I spent, oh no. I need to math. So it ended up being $47 total. So about with tax and stuff, probably $50 for all of this. We also spent the money on the candy and everything. But part of why I was okay doing this is, let's say for example, we don't have 50 kids that want the treat bags. I can save them for next year. And if you know I need to replace the glow sticks or anything, that's nothing. But we're also going to be giving the second thing of glow sticks out to every single kid so that every kid will get a glow stick and candy or a glow stick and treat bag with more glow sticks. So let me know in the comments below, what do you think about this as an alternate to candy? 
um, especially for the kids who can't have the candy or might have some allergies. You know, we wanted to make sure that we were accommodating to them and they didn't, you know, leave empty handed or all bummed out. Um, I am wearing a little bit of a glow necklace only because as I was packing them in, they were they started glowing and cracking and I can't give kids glowed glow sticks. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys, you know, uh, got some ideas or inspiration. If you did, let me know down below. And if you guys want to see more stuff like this, just let me know and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye everybody.